Welcome to the Tenant Management for Service Providers training video. For this video, I have logged into the Mobuso system as a Service Provider Administrator. A Service Provider is able to manage multiple tenants with a single login. To select which tenant is currently being administered, there is a drop-down box in the upper right corner of the screen. This is used to switch between tenants. Once a tenant is selected, you can browse to other pages and continue to administer the selected tenant as this setting persists between pages. Service providers have a maximum amount of licensing available to them to assign to their tenants. The amount that they have depends on what they have been licensed for, and those license limits are available on the tenant page. Here you can see that this service provider can have a maximum of 250,000 people that can be in directories of all the tenants. If there are multiple tenants, all of the people in all of the tenants combined cannot exceed the licensing for the service provider. The active calls field indicates the maximum number of simultaneous calls that this tenant is allowed. The service provider has 24 active calls available. This field can be over allocated. By this, I mean that ports can be assigned to each tenant up to and including the total number of ports that the service provider has. However, all of the tenants combined cannot be simultaneously using more ports than the service provider has. For example, if I have five tenants and I assign 10 ports to each of the tenants, only the first 24 calls into the system will be allowed the 25th call will be rejected. The rejection notice that will be presented to the caller is specified by the tenant-specific call rejection disposition. This can be set to either hang up on the call or play a message stating that the service is not available. Let me explain this in a little more detail as it is important to understand this concept. Let's say that tenant 1 has 7 active calls, tenant 2 has 3 active calls, Tenant 3 has 10 active calls, Tenant 4 has 2 active calls, and Tenant 5 has 2 active calls, for a total of 24 active calls for the service provider. If any tenant attempts to have an additional call, it will be rejected due to exceeding the service provider's limit on the number of active calls, even though the individual tenant may not be exceeding their own limit. In this example, if Tenant 3 attempts to have another active call, this would push them over the tenant limit of 10 active calls, and it would be rejected. Mobuso allows service providers to configure their own default settings which will be used when creating new tenants. To modify these default settings, select the Tenant Template. The Applications page, Settings page, and the Dialing rules can then be configured with the new default settings. To create a new tenant, go to the Tenants page, change the Active Tenant to Template, and then click the New button. Set the tenant status to Active, enter the tenant name, external tenant ID, number of active calls, and maximum size of the directory, and then click Save. If you are creating a tenant that will be used for trial or evaluation purposes and want to limit the usage of this tenant, Mobuso has a quota management feature. If quota management is enabled, the call session quota field is the total number of seconds that are available to calls. Upon completion of a call, this value will decrease by the length of the call until the quota reaches zero. When the quota reaches zero, any calls in progress will continue. However, any new calls will be rejected with the call rejection disposition setting. After creating a tenant, it will be necessary to create an administrator account for that tenant. To do this, go to the Administration Administrators page, click the New button, and fill in the required fields. Please note that you must make sure to select Tenant Administrator as the role. Tenant Administrators will only have access to a single tenant that they are assigned to. If the role is set to Service Provider Administrator, then that administrative account will have access to all tenants within the Service Provider. Note that when creating administrative accounts, New accounts can only be assigned roles equal to or lesser than the currently logged in role. In other words, service provider administrators can create other service provider administrator accounts. They can also create tenant administrator accounts. 
Tenant administrators can only create other tenant administrator accounts. To create a service provider administrator, set the role to service provider administrator and then set the tenant elector to the blank entry. This is necessary as service provider administrators are not assigned to a single tenant. This concludes the overview of tenant management for service providers. For additional information, please refer to the System Administrator's Guide or any of the other training videos available online.